Hi guys, I've had a question about the length of the backswing and how long it should be, so I'm going to answer that in this video. So really the, the length of the backswing is going to depend on the golfer, it's going to depend on the mobility of the golfer and the golf club that they're using. So the more mobile the golfer, the longer the backswing will be, and the longer the club we use, the longer the backswing will be. But I think uh, probably the best way to, to go through this video is to talk about the, the reasons why we, we overswing and the reasons why we sometimes get too short a swing. So when we overswing, we tend to get the, the body angle going too much this way. So the hips slide too much this way, the upper body tilts this way, and that, that sends the club back too far. Okay, and the other reason that we, we overswing is when we get the radius too narrow, when we get this arm bending too much. Okay, when the right arm bends too much, the left arm bends too much, club goes too far. So if I get the body angle leaning back this way and the right arm over bending, I'm always going to be too long. So really what we, want to, what we want to do is make sure that the left hip stays pretty close to the wall. And we want to feel that the right arm is, is fairly wide. It does bend, but it, it needs to get away from the body here and stay nice and wide. Okay, and that get, gets us in a nice wide compact position at the top. The reasons for having too short a backswing is just getting too static with the body. Okay, so we're trying to, we're trying to keep too still. We don't get any turn and the club sort of just stops here. So this right side hasn't turned back. We need the right shoulder and the right hip to turn back. We always want to make sure that both feet are turned out, that the right hip's turning back, the right shoulder's turning back, and that the, the left arm and shoulder are relaxed enough so that the left arm can work up. Okay, so the left arm has to work up, has to be relaxed enough that you can get a bit of swing this way, and we need the right side of the body to go back. So as long as we keep the lower body close to the wall and we get the body turning back this way, keep that nice relaxed left arm, and a wide right arm, that's going to give us a pretty good position at the top. So I've kept my lower body forward, I've turned back with the right side of the body, okay, I've got a little bit of swing with the left arm, and I kept the right arm nice and wide. And that gets me into that position, which is what I see with a lot of players, that, that club's at about a 45 degree angle this way, okay, when we're hitting an iron. Now with the driver, it's always going to go a little bit further, we get a bit more momentum, the club goes back a bit further. But the main thing is the body still looks the same.